Türkiye devletinin bütün olarak What we're living through is one of the biggest threats Turkey has faced in two, three hundred years. Nearly all of the members of the terror organization have practically had their brains removed. They've been hypnotized. They're like robots. Each of them is a potential threat. They could do anything. They could commit all sorts of attacks, including suicide bombs. It's a threat bigger than ISIS and PKK, and those threats target Turkey's unity. In the last week, there have been almost 60,000 people either suspended, dismissed, detained, how do you justify such a purge, including in the education sector? For 40 years, this terror organization has infiltrated the furthest corners of the country, all ministries, all institutions and the private sector. It's not just the judiciary courts, the police, the military. It includes education. And in fact, education is the field that they have entered best. This is only the tip of the iceberg. The number of detentions could get higher. But it's only people who have been 100% identified who are getting detained or investigated or arrested. Do you understand the criticism, given how polarized Turkey has been and given the reputation of the government for clamping down on the opposition here? Before the coup attempt, Turkish politics was seriously polarized. It's not there anymore. We ask countries who are our allies to look at the situation without prejudice. They are not condemning the coup and are only half-heartedly criticizing the coup makers. And then they turn around and say, don't do this, don't do that. This isn't an objective, rational, correct approach.